Well, welcome back to Keto Cooking with Ron. Well, today we're making uh, bacon in the oven today. And we bought this uh, Hormel Black Label original bacon because it's, it was on sale for that particular week. And if you're concerned about the macros, there's the macros on the back. So we have a uh, sheeting pan laid out with two sheets of, of uh, aluminum foil. We got the oven cranked up to 350 and we're gonna bake that in the oven on both sides. Probably for about uh, maybe 20 minutes each until it's crisp. And then we'll put it in a uh, bowl with paper towel. And we'll open the package and we'll separate each slice of bacon. And we should have enough room to fit this. And we'll put a couple of slices of bacon that way. It's a pretty simple recipe. Just follow me along and you guys will be fine. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We put our bacon on us and piece of paper towel to make it easy for us to separate. And all you do is you just take one slice of bacon at a time, separate it very simple, just like this. Try to get it as straight as you can. The reason why you separate it is so it doesn't uh, kick, kick up when, it, uh, when it's cooking. I try to overlay them and get them as close as I can to each other. Just like, a, just like, a, just like this. This is kind of a thick bacon. I usually get the Market Basket brand. I'm not sure how this is going to cook. Well, pretty, I'm sure it's going to cook great, but... What I mean by that is the thickness might take a little while longer. Now that we got our bacon all prepped up there, let's go get it in the oven. Keep an eye on it when you get it in the oven. You got the oven preheated, so be careful you don't burn yourself. Come back when it's uh, done, get ready to flip, and then we'll show you the, uh, the amount of grease and everything in there, and all that good stuff. You can see our bacon is sizzling. It's been about 20 minutes, so we're gonna flip it, take it out of the oven and flip it, and put it back in and finish it up. And just take your tongs to flip them over. The yeah, is going to be hot, obviously. All right, that's that side, and that side. As you can see from our bacon, our bacon is done. These two started to burn a little bit and I smelled it kind of getting toasty in here so I wanted to get them out of the oven and these are pretty much good enough for what I, for what I want to use them for. So let's uh, transfer them into a bowl. And we got the uh, sheeting pan on a towel because we don't want to burn the countertop.
Here is your final product on the bacon that we cooked in the oven. It took about 35 minutes, 15 minutes on each side. The last two over here got kind of really brown and I was kind of concerned I was going to set the smoke alarm off so I took it out of the oven and the, uh, it is fully cooked. And I guess the question of the day is what do you do with your bacon grease? I just dump it out. I don't know if you save it or not, but let me know in the comments below the video if you save your bacon grease and how do you store your bacon grease. I know uh, people that do uh, bacon, butter, beef and egg, uh, BBBE, uh, they save their bacon grease and they use it to cook up the foods for flavoring, like when you're doing steak or something like that, it, it tastes phenomenal, but they, let me know what you guys do with your bacon grease, I mean, this is really clean, uh, but I haven't got a container to store it in, so, but anyways, hope you enjoyed this short little video on what I, uh, how to cook bacon, I'll just show you how crunchy it is, okay. Look at that. I'll just take another clean piece of big towel. And we'll put that in there to soak up some of that grease. And then we'll have uh, some bacon snacks for the week. See how much grease to come off of that? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know the drill.